more time. We back again. We got another one. This one is going to be a tenth of a second. And we want to talk about good and greatness. We want to talk about good and greatness in our relationships. A tenth of a second is just faster than that. A tenth of a second goes by so quickly. Our success and failure could be measured in a tenth of a second decision. Uh, I want to start off with uh, giving an example of say Hussein Bolt or um, yeah okay we got Hussein Bolt he's lining up with three other Olympic runners these are the four fastest men in the world the four fastest men in the world the one in first place of course he is the winner nobody is faster than him the person in third place is two tenths of a second slower than the first person, excuse me, three tenths of a second. Then the person in third place is two tenths of a second slower than the person in first place. And then the second, the person in second place was one tenth of a second slower than the person who won the race, Hussein Bolt. Now understand, these are the four fastest men in the world. This is greatness, but somebody is better than the rest. So it's good if you can come in last. Because that means there are only three people in the world that are faster than you, even though you're in fourth place. But that tenth of a second or that three tenths of a second puts you in last place. That's going to be the difference between you being on the Wheaties box and somebody not even knowing your name. So that tenth of a second, if you keep losing by such a small margin, you will be good, but you will never be great. And you will feel unsuccessful. So in our relationships, taking that tenth of a second analogy, Sometimes our failure and success is just a tenth of a second. That's not a large margin. It's not like it's a huge difference in between being successful in a relationship and then failing in a relationship. Sometimes that divorce could come from a tenth of a second decision that led to the argument, that led to the breakup. Sometimes that tenth of a second could have led you from hesitating when you know you should have made the move to talk to the young lady, but you waited and you didn't. And that could have been the girl of your dreams. But that tenth of a second kept you from responding and reacting. And that's your success or your failure. And sometimes, fellas, we jumped on that opportunity. We felt that we went over there. We got a number and all is well. Happily ever after. Maybe that's your woman. Maybe that's your wife. That's a good deal. That's the tenth of a second. So in the Clipper Dome Chronicles, if we take the calls, if we do the forum, I like to be clear and tell people, sometimes it's just a few things you need to tweak. Sometimes it's just a small adjustment. Sometimes we just need to adapt just a little bit so that we can cover that tenth of a second and close that gap and move from good to great. Because it's good when you self-reflect and you self-aware, when you got your things together, when it's good that you're on the inside, you self-reflect it and you know who you are. But now we need to project that onto somebody else. We need them to understand who we are and to close that gap. Sometimes it's just a very, very small margin. And that's our tenth of a second. So that tenth of a second, when I'm talking to people, a lot of times they get discouraged and they're looking at other people go through their relationships or go through life and they think that it's a large margin. Well, we all hurt. We all have insecurities, inhibitions, setbacks. But that tenth of a second can be huge. So we want you to be able to close that gap and understand that sometimes it's just very simple. Just a tenth of a second. It's not a lot of work that needs to be done. It's just some simple adjustments, some simple adaptation that you can change the whole situation in your relationship. So, do we want to do that one right quick? We want you to take this. We want you to test this. We want you to try this. We want you to take it to the barbershop or take it to the hair salon. Take it to the job or take it to the church. We want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. This is the Clipper Dome Chronicle.